Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and I'm pretty sure that, you know, you've tried out different tools like Lovable, V0 or Bolt to build out like a, like a test app or like a website. But in this channel, I'm all about, you know, not just focusing on one tool, but looking at different other tools and kind of combining their workflow so that you can get the best out of it. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can get your web app that you've built in something like Lovable or V0. In this case, I'm going to be using Lovable. Um, but you get your web app and you have a Superbase database attached to it. And using another tool called Rocket, rocket.new, you can basically create a mobile app based on that same database, right? So you're basically turning your, your web app into a mobile app with this new tool. And it's actually a pretty straightforward workflow, right? You'd need obviously Lovable or V0, then you would need Superbase, which you can connect with those tools. Then you would need ChatGPT as kind of like a middleman to help you out with a new prompt. Then you'd need rocket.new and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. And actually, before we get into the video, I'd love to invite you guys to my community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers, talking about new tools and different tools that we can integrate into our workflow. We talk about our challenges in our, in our life, in our professional life. Uh, we talk about, you know, a bunch of different topics every single weekday. So if you're interested in joining these calls, feel free to join the link down in the description below. Now it all starts here in Lovable, right? This is where we want to create our web app and we want to maybe, you know, create something that helps us track time. We're like a YouTuber and we want two hours. We want to film maybe three videos in one day. We need two hours per each video. So, uh, we want something to help us kind of track that time efficiently and maybe give us like some pause time in between. So I can say something like create a time tracker app for YouTubers that has a similar approach to the Pomodoro method, which is basically like a time management system that uses a timer to break work into focused 25 minute intervals or Pomodoros separated by short five minute breaks. In this case, I want the user to have two hour work sessions for each video and then maybe like a longer break. We can say like the breaks can be 30 minutes long, right? And then we can go ahead and submit this. And in the front end, we can see something like this session history, work session, and we can basically, you know, edit that. We can edit the time. We can save that or, or delete it. So now I think we can actually build out the mobile app. So now what we can do is we can go into the database in Superbase and you can navigate to your public schema over here. And what we can do is we can download this current view as a PNG. And then you can go into ChatGPT, open a new chat and, you know, paste this PNG. So we can say something like, give me the description of a mobile app with this database schema over here in the super base image, see attached. So we can go ahead and click on submit and we can also navigate to the auth one over here and also take a download as a PNG and go back into ChatGPT and we can just attach this and just submit this. And then we can scroll up to the original prompt over here and we can just copy this take a screenshot of this entire one we maybe want to just zoom out a bit so that it can see the whole overview over here take a screenshot go back into ChatGPT, attach the screenshot paste in the prompt and we can say this is a time tracker app for youtube click on submit and it gives us a different name focus tube which is which is nice we can leave it like this now, what I want to do is I want to, I want ChatGPT to help us create like a mobile UI prompt for this. So we can say create a mobile UI prompt for me in the same format as the web app I just referenced. We do get a description. We do get a prompt. We do get bullet points. I don't really want that. So what we're going to do is we're first going to ask it for some clarity. Please align it to my super base scheme and give it an overall design narrative and keep it in a concise comma separated sentence format. Click on submit. We get some of some different fields of our super base schema over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to go into rocket.new and we're going to select mobile app over here, right? And over here, I'm just going to paste in this prompt that ChatGPT gave us. I'm going to click on attach and I'm going to, and I'm also going to want to attach the image of the actual app in Lovable so that it has a very similar look and feel click on submit and Rocket is going to ask us, you know, select the screens you want, you wish to build from the list below. We're going to click on splash screen. We're going to click on timer dashboard, session history detail, 
And you don't have to click on all of them. You can leave one empty, but in this case, I'm just gonna click on all of them, build my app. So we basically get our app working and um, we get this error because we haven't integrated Superbase yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click on integrate Superbase. And so we need to connect it first. Let's do that. Let's click on authorize rocket and let's select a project. In this case, we're gonna choose the uh, timer app project. Click on save. And once Superbase is done connected, we have our login screen looking like this. And then I can go ahead and sign in. And then once I'm signed in, you can see the whole UI. You can see the main UI over here and you can see my recent sessions. And you can go back into Superbase and both the web app sessions and the app sessions, the mobile app sessions from Rocket are connected in the same Superbase table. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Basically just wanted to show you this whole, you know, workflow from Lovable where you create a web app and then in Rocket where you create that mobile app and you share that same Superbase backend for both of these different views. So basically instead of having to rebuild a web app or rebuild a mobile app based on this web app with an entirely new Superbase backend, which is a, you know, pain in the butt, you can use the same backend, which, which makes the whole app environment much more sustainable in the long run. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments below and hope to see you guys next time. All right. Thank you so much. Goodbye.